I'll uh, begin also by reading a letter. This is a letter that Bruce Buchanan gave to me. Um, I had lunch with Bruce on Tuesday. Bruce uh, is uh, another past president of uh, AAAI and a colleague of Saul's for many years. Um, Tuesday when I saw Bruce, he was uh, frustrated that he couldn't come for the retirement party uh, uh, for various reasons. And uh, when he heard about Saul's passing, he gave me this letter to read. Saul was a dear friend and an inspiration to all of us. His intellectual curiosity and breadth of interest always made time with Saul interesting and fun. His questions were the hard ones, but he asked them with a genuine desire to advance our understanding as well as his own. He befriended me when I was new in the field, and he helped me understand AI in the large, when all I could think about was pruning trees and dendro. I wondered briefly why an electrical engineer would want to talk with a philosopher. But then I realized that Saul was more of a philosopher than an engineer. However, our time together was not all serious, and he taught me also to enjoy some of the pleasures of Europe, such as espresso in the outdoor cafes. Saul's courage in confronting evil as a young man is legendary. His courage in living optimistically in the face of his cancer is inspirational. Dear friend, you will be missed. Bruce Buchanan. I just wanted to add a few uh, personal notes. Actually, I have to tell you, um, several people mentioned that Saul knew everyone who would travel with the president to Rutgers, and people would come up to read Saul. Um, I mentioned something like this myself. My favorite, uh, or one of the indelible memories I have was of Saul, is uh, a couple of years after Saul recruited me to Rutgers as a, a fresh assistant professor, uh, I had a chance to go to a conference in France, uh, which Saul was also attending. In fact, it was my first trip to Europe, so um, it was a great experience to go with Saul in uh, many dimensions. But of course, at the conference, um, we'd attend the conference, everybody would see Saul there and they'd rush up and you know, greet Saul and this other kid who was there. So um, I spent most of the conference just, you know, uh, feeling the breeze as people <laughs> <laughs> And finally the conference came to a close and we had a free afternoon together, just Saul and I. So this is my chance to finally get some time basking together with Saul. So we went to a little restaurant in Lyon, um, out of the way, and we're sitting there having dinner in this restaurant. And all of a sudden, damned if this person doesn't come over to our table and say, excuse me, are you Saul Amaral? <laughs> and it was a former student of Saul's from Rutgers who went on to express his great appreciation for the time that he had spent at Rutgers and uh, mentioned that he didn't realize didn't realize until after he left how good an experience that had been. So uh, that's a good memory of Saul. When um, I was thinking about Saul last evening, I just tried to uh, distill my uh, understanding into a few words. <clears throat> and uh, the words that came to mind are ones that we've kind of heard here. Passion. Saul was definitely a man of passion. There was not a single thing that Saul did that didn't involve passion. It didn't matter whether it was science or uh, when I knew him building the computer science department <coughs> at Rutgers. Whatever he did, he did it full board. Uh, and he had a kind of 
indefatigable, if that's a word, energy uh, that kind of allowed him to have this passion. And, you know, he was a tough guy physically. Um, plus, he had this kind of overwhelming determination. So when you couple that with the passion, uh, it's a pretty uh, unstoppable force. Another word that came to mind, several people have already mentioned, is intellect. There's anybody who knew Saul who knows uh, from day one when we meet him. He approaches problems with this amazing ability to uh, look at the ground truth and then build it up from there. So intellect is another word. And the other word, the final word, is uh, really optimism. Saul is a person who I came to realize he really didn't think much about the past. <coughs> really, all the conversations I had with Saul were really about the future. You know, we could do this, he'd say. We should write this proposal. We should work on this thing. He didn't really spend much time talking about the past or thinking about the past, even though his past was fascinating. And he really didn't like to talk about it. He liked to talk about the future. And that was really a sign of uh, really a fundamental optimism that he had of life. And uh, so for many years, Saul has been an inspiration. And uh, he continues to be.